Hey, it's Matthew back with you with Wolf Wisdom. This is a great opportunity to really check in with people who are using the Halo Collar. And we've got somebody here who, you know, when we first started, we had a video with John and Wrigley. And I've got to tell you, I'm, I've got a, a sweet spot in my heart for <laughs> for dogs like Wrigley. And I'm so happy to, to connect again with John on this. And I, I don't see Wrigley there. I saw him a minute ago. Is he hiding again? Uh, he, he's laying down right next to me. Uh, it is it is about his nap time. So he's he's pretty tuckered already. <laughs> All right. Let's hope that Wrigley makes an appearance because, you know, quite honestly, he's, he's a beautiful dog. But John, I wanted to have you back here. Uh, last time we learned about Wrigley and the Halo Collar. And I know you're a traveling nurse. You're on the road all the time, staying at different places, but you bring Wrigley with you. And that's pretty cool. Of course. Yeah. We love having Wrigley with us and, and it just doesn't feel like a family unit if the pup's not there. So we definitely have to bring him with and he loves adventuring and going new places. So it's always wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about some of the experiences that you've had with Wrigley and in particular, the Halo Collar. How has that helped you be able to have this amazing life where you're on the road all the time. Of course. Well, it's good to see you again, Matthew, and I appreciate you remembering everything about me and Wrigley. It's kind of you to not forget about us. Um, we, we've had some really wonderful adventures since we last spoke. Uh, it, very recently, we were actually at the beach kind of exploring. Wrigley was obviously having a blast running around. And, you know, I don't really get nervous anymore because he's got the halo cow, right? The virtual boundary feature specifically with like the precision GPS technology, absolute lifesaver once again. It, it keeps him from going too far out into the waves. He likes to get in the water, but he will go far if you let him. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I noticed that with um, taking the dog to the beach the other day because I foster dogs. So I, I get a whole variety of dogs and I always, you know, use the halo collar with him. But I mean, I was a little worried that this collar would work in the water. I'm like, you know, this is technology. Can you really just let it go deep into the water? Dog was swimming, but there was no issues. And I think it's rated for pretty good. <laughs> I, I forget the, the exact specifications, but you know, you, you shouldn't have to worry about it going in the water. No, absolutely not. The water does not deter the, the collar at all, uh, which has been, I mean, a blessing for us. <laughs> having to travel so often and, and we're water people. He's a water dog. So it, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Halo That's college. great. Yeah. Talk about any kind of surprises or any kind of learnings. Cause you've had it for, I think more than six months now. Right. Right. So anything that, that, that is, you know, kind of surprised you about using the collar? I guess it's hmm, a good question. It, it, a lot has surprised me, but I guess one unexpected, um, benefit, I guess, is how much more relaxed Wrigley seems just like overall. I mean, the, the consistent boundaries have kind of made him more confident. Um, he's become more obedient, even in the rare instance when I, I don't have him in the collar. And <laughs> it's been wonderful. I mean, he really listens now. He thinks more about what he's doing. And, and just having the boundaries really helps keep him reined in. And and he's been a, an absolute joy and he's been way more relaxed and, and calm since then. He's normally very anxious. So it, it, it's been a lot that's just been kind of unexpected. Let's talk about any maybe challenges that you've had with a collar, anything that's kind of, you know, was a little unexpected there. Definitely. Um, no real major issues with the collar. I mean, a little bug here and there, uh, but really the biggest challenge for it was actually the initial setup, which I, I, I'm not a techie like, at all. I, I don't really know anything about Yeah. I, I'm not a, a technology guy one bit, but after I got that sorted out, it was super smooth sailing. And honestly, the customer support is just phenomenal. So I, I had some issues with setup. I called them and they worked it out immediately and they were so kind and, and just really, really helpful. So even with the issue that I did have it was solved immediately. That's great to know. Yeah. I know that just from interviewing people on this program, that's something that always comes about, you know, that, that the customer support is really top notch and the training too. How do you actually manage? Now, you're somewhat unique in the fact that you're traveling all the time and you're on the road a lot, it sounds like. So how do you actually set up the boundaries in all these different environments? Right. Um, it obviously, since I do travel a lot and it's different places all the time, it, it's, it's difficult to give like a one, you know, a one word answer on how I would set the boundaries up anywhere. It's more case by case, but really just anywhere I don't want him getting into excessively or 
Uh, obviously, water is a big one for us, or woods, maybe. Anywhere where I just can't keep an eye on him, and I don't know if he's getting into trouble or mischief, really. So we just try and keep him out of, uh, I like to call them the, the danger areas. <laughs> Talk to us about the activity tracker too, because I think that's something that you mentioned that you use just to kind of keep track of how active Wrigley is during the day. Oh yeah, it is. It is very nice. Um, the the activity tracker you can adjust it too, and it's it, it's so nice to be able to check how much he's putting out day to day. Because you know you can't really give him a one track uh, diet, or maybe I can't give him enough treats today. Um, but really using the activity tracker has just been so wonderful to know kind of what he's been up to and how he's been working. And, and the app itself is just, it, it's pretty creme de la creme, you know, <laughs> it's wonderful. So it, it works really well. And I, I really enjoy having that, that activity tracker to, to keep, keep an eye on him. Well, great to check in with you. Any, any parting words about the halo that you, you think people should know? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been great uh, visiting with you as well, but I guess... If you don't believe me, try the Halo collar for yourself. It's a phenomenal collar. It's been doing wonders for us. It's truly a game changer. And honestly, you can't really go wrong. I mean, the, the customer support is great. The app is great. The collar is great. There's nothing wrong with it. So definitely something to check out. And, and we're just happy we're able to, to share our story. And I, I'm, I'm really sad I'm not seeing Wrigley here. So <laughs> can we wake him up from his nap just for a minute? There he is. All oh, right. We needed that. We needed that. <laughs> He's been, uh, yeah, you can see he's sleepy. He does not want to move too much. What a face. Oh. All right. <laughs> Wrigley and John, thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Okay,